Well, I'm filming this at 5.36 in the morning because I have had no other time at all to film because work teaching has been so very busy and crazy. Everything is taking so much longer this year. I'm exhausted, but I'm also a morning person. So I got up a little early to film this video so I'd have something to put up today. What we're gonna do is look at this Kurt Geiger Kensington bag and I'll give you dimensions, I'll show you the bag and we'll do a little what fits, we'll do a comparison very quickly just holding up side by side with the Coach Cassie, the Rebecca Minkoff Edie, and the Tory Burch Kira bag because they're all similar size. So let's get started. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. And that includes contemporary brands like this that are quite luxurious. So if that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. I started double masking this week and my ears hurt. I had been using this, I don't have one in front of me, but this little plastic thing where I can loop the mask under my ears and attach it to the back. But now with the second mask, I can't do that with both of them. So I have to wear the second one on my ears and it's bothering me. You guys have that problem too? Hold on, I have to go let her dog in. Someone is scratching at the door. Hello, Baron. Hello, Roxy. All right, now that that's done, do you mind? I'm trying to film. No yawning. We shouldn't have any more distractions, interruptions. <sighs> let's get into this. Let's start, well, let's start with a little overview of the bag. Kurt Geiger Kensington bag. They have these in several sizes. Oh, and first, I did not purchase this bag. This bag was a Christmas gift from my dear YouTube friend, Yota Style, and she did a great job picking this out for me. I introduced her to the brand and got her totally addicted to it. And uh, she decided to get me this bag for Christmas, which I really appreciate. So the front has two different patterns. Oh, I was talking about sizes first. I don't have notes, I'm winging this at 5.30 in the morning. Sizes. The Kensington comes in a variety of sizes from little mini ones, like this baby little card holder thing two small bags and up to there's an extra extra large and then there's a macro and I spoiler alert recently purchased the extra extra large and I will show you that in another video but this one is sort of the normal sized Kensington and this particular one has two different patterns it's a quilted leather it's super 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 soft like lambskin soft and I don't think it says on the website what the leather is and there's a UK website which is where Kurt Geiger is based there's also a US website. The US website does not have as many items as the UK website, but I don't think that we in the US can order from the UK website. So that is sometimes very frustrating. If you're looking at the UK website and you don't realize it and you see something you like and then you go to the US website and they don't have it, it's happened to me more than once. It has two different patterns, which I really love about it. It's got this chevron V thing and then this more of a weave pattern. And it's set up a lot like the YSL Lulu with the sides like that and a little triangle. There's no back pocket. On this bag, Kurt Geiger is stamped there. I think it's stamped on all of the bags. The only one I've ever seen a metal plate on is the macro. And I only saw that in a video. Here's the other side. Here's the base. It has no feet. And then the top has the handles with the chain, which I'll show you in a bit. One of the signatures of Kurt Geiger is that little eagle head. And notice it has crystals on it. The crystals do tend to match the color of the metal. So if you have an antiqued gold hardware like this. It has little amber crystals. If you have silver hardware, it would be silver crystals like this one. I don't know if you can even see those crystals are so small, but they're in there. And the holes for the chain are like this, not like this, if that makes sense. It has two handles where you can wear it um, with two handles where it's a shorter shoulder bag, or you could pull one out and wear it as a longer shoulder bag, possibly a crossbody. I'll model that later, so we'll see. I haven't even tried this on yet because I've been saving it to do a video with you guys. And let's do dimensions first, and then we'll get into the inside of the bag. All right, it is 10 inches across the bottom by seven inches high and three and a quarter inches deep. And the whole bag is plush, by the way, even the back, it's it's not quilted, but it's 
blush, like it has the, the stuffing, whatever that's called inside of it. It also has this little tab right here, which I think is totally unnecessary, but maybe it's there to protect the lip of the uh, flap when you're pulling on it. One thing that I don't like about this bag, and I didn't like it about the extra, extra large either, is that instead of having one snap, like all these bags have, it has two. And you can lift it like that from the middle, but the frustrating thing is when you're trying to close it, because then you have two snaps that you have to like find a place for. You have to line them up and figure it out, and it's just kind of annoying. But open the bag and you can see the two snaps. I'm gonna get it unstuffed so you can see the inside better. It does come with a dust bag. I'm not sure where Yota ordered this bag from. She may have ordered it directly from Kurt Geiger, but you can also get Kurt Geiger bags at Dillard's and Nordstrom, probably a few more places online. And they're pretty reasonably priced. They're priced in the contemporary level, a few hundred dollars for a bag. So here it is with the chain extended, so that would be the shoulder, and then it's very easy to pull one strap. You know, sometimes when you have a bag with chains, it can be difficult, you have to fuss with it. it this one isn't. It's very simple to change it to the uh, one or two straps. Let me tell you how long that drop is for the straps. You have an 11 inch clearance here, and with one strap you have 20 inches and a half or so. The only other negative about, well, I can think of two more negatives about this bag, potential negatives or annoyances, is that it doesn't have the back pocket. So two snaps, no back pocket, and then there's one more thing on the inside. So let's open it up. Uh, there's no pocket up here like there would be on some of the Chanel bags. And then inside, you have two compartments. Again, it's very similar to the YSL Lulu. This compartment in the front is a little bigger than the one in the back. You can see it has a leather lip, but then it's lined in a fabric. This center divider is not a pocket of any kind. It's, it doesn't have a zipper. It's not a slip pocket. It's just a divider. So no storage in that part. And then the back is almost the same size as the front, but a little smaller. And the third annoyance about it is that these chains are in the way. So when I do the what fits, because I haven't put anything in this bag yet, we'll see how difficult it is to move those chains and get things in and out. But I would say for sure, things that you want to get to more often, like your wallet, would want you'd want to put those in the front pocket, or at least I would. And there is one more pocket in here. There's a little slit pocket right here in the fabric, and it's pretty deep. It's it's that deep, whatever that means to you. I'll, I'll measure it in a second. Here's the tag. It doesn't really say anything worth noting. What was I about to do? Measure that pocket. That pocket's about four inches deep. One other good thing about this bag and the chain, I told you it's pretty easy to switch between one and two handles. It's also easy to just drop the chain into the bag. That is a rare thing. I haven't seen that with any of my other bags with chains like this. And speaking of those, let's do a very quick comparison. Just a little side by side with some bags that are similar so you can get an idea of the size if you're familiar with any of these bags. So here's the Rebecca Minkoff Edie bag. There's the fronts together, the sides together. I mean, that's almost identical. And then a good way to get a sense of the size is to compare the bases. So there's the bases on the two. Very similar. I'm not gonna do a what fits comparison here because I need to take a shower and go to work. If you're interested in seeing a video like that, which would be a whole video into itself, then just let me know in the comment section. Here's the Tory Burch Kira bag. This is the large size Kira, and that was the large size Edie as well. So again, very similar sizes. Here's the ends, again, very similar. And the bases, also pretty similar. I think those two bags are the most similar to this Kurt Geiger one. However, I thought it also might be helpful to compare the Kurt Geiger and the Coach Cassie. Just similar size, because I think a lot of you are familiar with this, which is comparable, of course, to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. There's the ends and the bases. So those bags are pretty different, but about the same size. Okay, let's do a little what fits. I have several items pulled to put into this bag, so we'll see what fits and what doesn't. First, the item that I always use as a catch-all, the Pochette Matisse, no, the Pochette Aux Accessoire. Uh, I don't think will fit in this bag. I think it's a little too long, but I wanted to try it out just so we're sure. And I would want to fit that in the front of the bag. So let's try. There's no way. It's too long. So instead, 
what I might want to do. Oh, I want to try one more larger piece first. The Agenda MM size. The GM definitely won't fit. And that does fit. Fits easily in the front pocket. Let's see if I can get it in the back pocket easily with the chains in the way. I have to put it down where you can't see it, sorry. Um, it will fit in the back. It's a little more snug because that back pocket isn't as deep. You see it pushes that divider forward, but it does fit back there. It wasn't that difficult getting in, getting it in with the chains. It is a little more difficult getting it out, but it's doable. Let's see, let's see if my phone fits in the back pocket. This is an iPhone 10 easily fits in the back pocket there. There it is. So let's leave that there and start putting in things that we would carry. I could do this uh, to represent a mini or a compact wallet and I could put it in like this so I can fit more next to it. I'll put that in the front, easy access. This is a five key holder from Coach, so if you use one of those, uh, I'll put that one in the front pocket as well. Actually, that's not something I would access as often, so I'm gonna put that in the back. I'm thinking I can put a pouch in the back next to that. You could also use something like this as a little card wallet, like the little Kirigami pouches from Louis Vuitton. This one is from Dress Up Your Purse. I will link these below. Um, I have a discount code for them and they come, these come in all kinds of different colors. This is the small size. They also have the medium and the large, just like Vuitton does. So I could have that in here as well. Uh, there's a card holder. This one is from Tory Burch and I could slip that in the back with my phone. My agenda PM, that would definitely fit right up front. And then I'm thinking I could put a mini pochette in the back as a little catch-all. And maybe I could stand that up. Now with stuff in the front, let me show you this. With stuff in the front here, and I have the key holder there and my phone and a card holder there, it's hard to get into this space that's left, um, mostly because of that pocket in the back where I have the phone and the card holder. So let me take the card holder out because I have the other little compact wallet pieces up front and I can put my mini pochette in the back. That fits a lot better now. Okay, and standing up is how I have that mini pochette. So that all fits really well. And then there's still a little room to slip a thin pair of sunglasses. Let's see if I can close this easily or as easily as I can with the two annoying snaps. And I can, and it's not super heavy. And let's see how it looks stuffed because sometimes uh, these bags sort of take on a different shape when they have things in them and they don't look as good. But this one looks great. It's not overstuffed. It's got just the right amount of things in it, I think. And that would be everything I need. I have wallet, I have keys, I have a notebook, I have a catch-all, I have my phone. That's everything. Let's take some of these things out and try a different com combination. I was about to say congregation. Okay, I don't actually carry a key holder. I just have my keys on a key ring and I toss those in on top of everything else. So I'm gonna put my toiletry 15 in the back. Go back there easily. Because the 15 is structured and a little wider here, I'm having trouble getting it in the back with my phone in that pocket. So let me try that up front instead. And let's see, is it better standing or laying down? It's easier to get it in like that than it is like this. I mean, they both, they both fit, but this way I run into the chain over here. I could turn it the other way, I guess. And then I don't run into that chain because it's more narrow. So maybe that is the way to go. And then I carry my Chanel card holder. That's what I use as a wallet. Put that up front. Put my Agenda PM in the back. That fits very easily. And that's really about all I need. I can throw my keys anywhere in there and there's still space on either side of that Agenda because I stood it up in the middle and there's space next to the wallet there. So yeah, that holds everything. Let's see if this will close easily. And I wonder about that just because that toiletry 15 was standing up there. And when it's standing up and it has, it's really close to the top of the bag there, you see. Oh, and it also says Kurt Geiger right there. Just noticed that. Um, and because this is structured, it's not very squishable. So when I go to close the flap, the snaps don't line up that easily. This one does, but this one I'm having a little more trouble with having to pull it down in order to get it in place. It's a little more difficult. It snaps, it still looks fine, but it was more difficult, it took more effort. So now let me show you how it looks on my shoulder 
with two straps and then with one longer strap. And I'm 5'3 for reference. Here is the double chain there, just as a shoulder bag. And pardon my pants, these are my pajama bottoms. I just threw a top on to do the video before I hit the shower. So that looks good. And this is probably how I would wear it most often. And then let's see, the longer chain, it hangs down lower. I'd also totally wear it like that. Looks great. And then let's try it crossbody. So that for me, it fits okay, but if you're any taller, it's gonna sit too high on you. It's really kind of high on me there. So personally, I would not wear that as a crossbody. So I am pleasantly surprised by what this holds because when I got this bag out recently to do my collection video of non-luxury brands, I got it out and it seemed a little small to me, but really it doesn't seem to be any smaller than the Edie, and I've been carrying those, so I think it, it works. It works pretty well, and I'm happy with it, so thank you, Yota. You did a good job. Do you have any experience with Kurt Geiger? I know some of you do, so let me know what you think about the brand, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you have your eye on that you might like to try. And if you wanna see more Kurt Geiger bags, I have a few more videos I'll link below, and Yota Style has several bags that she's acquired recently and is has videos on and will be doing videos on, so I will link her channel below as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye.